Peace be with you, friends. And with yesterday's celebration of Palm Sunday, as you have just heard about in this short clip, recalling the entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem, we have begun the week that changed the world and the week that is the Holy Week. So let's pray that with every day of this week, we become more aware of what Jesus has done for each one of us. And without the resurrection of Christ, there would be no Christianity and those who answer the call to priesthood. And that is why this morning I'd like to offer the prayer for those who did answer Christ's call to share the good news of his resurrection with the world and pray for our priests. And that is this afternoon at 2 p.m. They will gather at the Cathedral of Christ the King to give thanks for the gift of priesthood and to renew their vows, as you shortly might see on, on the uh, image. So may Christ, whom they serve, bless them, uh, not exactly that one yet, bless them with their example and inspire new vocations. Uh, well, let's stay with this image right now. Okay, so in a special way, I'd like to uh, recognize uh, Bishop Emeritus, Bishop uh, Matthew Strzycki, who was an uh, auxiliary bishop of the Diocese of Hamilton, who is celebrating his 92nd birthday today. He's uh, keeping very well, still active in his uh, ministry. So, Bishop, uh, many thanks for your years of service and many good uh, health, much good health and many blessings. And now grateful for the gift of life, for our bishops and priests. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them wisdom, understanding, and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. <clears throat> Sustain them in the ministry of building your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. May they find support among those to whom they serve and experience joy from their congregations. We ask this through Christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, you may sit down. Right now I just wanted to share something that some of you might have heard already uh, during or uh, after Mass on Sunday at uh, Regina Mundi Parish or Annunciation, and that is the Way of the Cross that will be offered on Good Friday. It will take place in our school, well, outside of our school, around the school perimeter. So anyone who is interested in helping, uh, please come and see me. We'll uh, begin the stations at 11 o'clock in front of the cafeteria door. Once again, on a Good Friday, for about an hour or so, or maybe more, depends on. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. So anyone who is interested, please come and see me. Thank you so much, and have a blessed day. Good morning, St. Thomas More, and happy Monday. This is a very important message for all period one, grade nine and grade 10 classroom teachers. The Innovation and Technology Learning Subcommittee seeks to gather grade nine and grade 10 student feedback on the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board one-to-one -one secondary student device initiative. Students are asked to participate in the one-to-one -one secondary student device online survey this morning, Monday, March 25th, all grade 9 and 10 students received an email to their board email account with an invitation to share their feedback using an online survey. The subject line of the email will read, Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board Secondary Student One-to-One -one Device Survey. Your feedback is needed. Students are asked to click on the survey link included in the body of the email. On Tuesday, your period one teacher will take some time to allow you to complete this survey. We encourage all grade nine and grade 10 students to participate as this feedback will inform future decisions on the one-to-one -one secondary student device program. On a second note, I wanna wish 
Mr. Deani a happy belated birthday. Last Monday, he tried to hide it from administration that he was getting a year older. So I thought today I bring it to the student body uh, attention. So if you see Mr. Deani in the hallway, please extend him a happy birthday. And on that note, have a wonderful day. Good morning. Thank you to all the volunteers who showed up for the Easter egg hunt that was at STM this past Saturday. It was a very, very successful event. Um, we had to actually turn people away because it was such there was such an overwhelming um, response for the need for volunteers. However, those of you who did not get a chance to volunteer at the Easter egg hunt on Saturday, there is another Easter egg hunt happening very close by at Gourley Park, and that's this Friday. Uh, we will be doing an ad wall, so ch check your televisions uh, the, at school for the um, ad wall um, contact information if you would like to be a part of that Easter egg hunt. They do need volunteers for that. There is a contact email that you would contact if you are interested in signing up for that on Friday. Thank you. Have a great day. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria. And my name is Fia. And here are your announcements for today. The list for students who have made the second round of the Junior Boys Soccer Team tryouts have been posted in the gym hallway. Students who are on the list, please listen to announcements for the information about the final tryout. Thank you to all who tried out. To all students interested in trying out for the STM Ultimate Frisbee Team, the first practice will be tomorrow after school in the gymnasium. Students are reminded the forms must be submitted prior to the practice in order to try out. Students with any questions or in need of forms should see Mr. Castellani or Mr. Ali. There will be a meeting of the STM Math Club this Wednesday after school in Portable 3. All students are welcome and those with any questions should see Mr. Castellani. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Adriana. And I'm Marcus, and we're here with your announcements from Student Council. Our Easter food drive is up and running. Please continue to bring canned goods and non-perishable food items to your first period class. The class to gain the highest amount of points by Wednesday, March 27th will win a prize. This Wednesday, March 27th is also the date of our Toonies for Tuition Civvies Day. That's right, STM. We are having a full head to those Civvies Day. In order to participate, you must make a donation on School Cash Online or bring a Toonie to your first period class. Finally, we'd like to send our best wishes to Mrs. Centrito as she heads off to retirement. Mrs. Centrito has taught religion and history in our school board since 2008, but has been on her educational journey for over 30 years. On behalf of the entire school, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your years of service and commitment to education. Although your time as a knight was short and sweet, your influence had touched far and wide. We wish you a retirement filled with the same warmth and kindness you've shared with us. Thanks SCM and have a great day. SCM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.25 and remember it's a great day to be a knight.